It's story time, it's story time. Time to tell a story. Now, I love stories. I love creativity. I love imagination. Most of the time when we come and have a big episode of Super Kids, it's about facts. It's about intelligence. It's about pressing the buzzer down. Now today, these storytellers will create with their imaginations and be judged on that. We'll find out who tells the best story and how they got here. Just eight applied, many, many applied. Check out the road they traveled to get here. This is the second creative speech contest this year. Let's take a look at the competitive preliminaries. The contestants make their way into the testing area. The preliminaries are on. Everyone is calmly concentrating on the test, looking for a spot in the main round. How was it? So how do we judge creativity? Is there a formula? Do we have a creative meter? We have challenges, three challenges, and it gets more and more challenging. The first challenge is telling a word. You'd be given three hints. If you get the word right, five points. Second challenge, they'll see a silhouette and they'll get 20 seconds to figure out what they want to say and 20 seconds to talk about it, 25 points. The remaining 70 points, that's the biggest challenge. Now they're going to have to choose a shape and use the word from the first challenge, the shape from the second challenge, and their choice, the three ingredients, to come up with a story. 100 points total. That's pretty serious. Now, I have the easy job just introducing these great ladies and gentlemen. The tough job, the judging, is by our panels. The first key panel, here they are. First on our panel is Professor No Bo Gyeong from Seoul University of Foreign Studies, Graduate School of Interpretation and Translation, Department of Korean English Translations. Then Professor Kim Eun Yee, from the University of Incheon's Department of Mass Communication. Then Professor Henny Savigny from Kungmin University's Department of General Education. Followed by Professor Chang Won Jae, Secretary General of the Kyungi English Village. The final member of our panel, Professor Lee Sung Jo from Chungang University's Department of Mass Communication. Now this distinguished panel will be responsible for most of the points, 80% of the points. What about the other 20? Well, we have another smaller panel, but they're bigger panel. More people on the panel, but they're responsible for 20%. This panel is made up of students. These graduate students are majoring in Korean English translation at Seoul University of Foreign Studies Graduate School of Interpretation and Translation. Now, let's go to our head judge and see exactly how that judging is going to be done. Let me just briefly explain our criteria for judgment. First, creativity is our primary concern. Second, logic is another criterion. Third, the linguistic information will be taken into consideration. Sentence structure and organization and the key expressions are highly judged. But in expressing your ideas to us, you don't have to speak a long and complex sentence, just to speak in a precise and concise way. And finally, have fun and enjoy. Please remember that this experience will be one of the happiest moments in your life. One of the happiest moments? They're probably biting their fingernails right now, <laughs> but they'll appreciate it later. I love that about enjoying the ride. We've got to start the ride, and we have to decide who goes first. We'll do it randomly and let them choose. This is a creative speech contest. Here are the finalists taking part in the main event. They are here to determine the order of the competition. With shaking eggs, each contestant picks a sheet and opens it. Preparations are finally complete. Yeah. 
Let's meet our first contestant. First up is Kim Yamin from Taeyeon Elementary School. I've been working really hard for this competition and I want to try my best. Oh, I love you, Mom and Dad. Hi, Heyman. How do you feel? I feel very nervous. It's right now. not easy being the first person, I know. So let's try to break the ice a little bit. What's your dream? Well, when I grow up, I really want to be a singer. Okay, I don't yeah. want to add pressure by making you sing, but do you have a favorite uh, singer or group? Uh, my favorite group is 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Yeah, they're really good at singing and really is fun, so yeah. Yeah but they're not good at sleeping. They usually keep people up at night. Yeah. Okay, so you know the first challenge, right? That is to hear some hints. You're gonna hear three hints. This is the key. Don't answer right away. You've got plenty of chances. Actually, okay. one chance to answer, but three hints. So wait till you hear them all, and then give us your answer, okay? Okay. Okay, here is the first hint. People clap and sing songs in front of me. People put candles on me. I am always at weddings or birthdays. Do you know the answer? Table? That's not it. The answer is... Cake! Cake, people put candles on me. Now it's okay. It's kind of a warm-up question. It's all right, you still have 95 more points possible, so don't worry. But this is where we need your creativity. I'm gonna show you a silhouette and give you 20 seconds to think about it. Here's your silhouette. In 20 seconds. Okay, please tell us about it. Uh, for me, it looks like a tunnel because it has the round thing on the top and then it seems like uh, uh, um, the chain can go inside. So I think it's a tunnel for me. Nice. That's your answer to tunnel. Let's see what the judges think and check out their scores. Not bad. Okay, so pretty good score. Now it's time for the big score. Now you gotta take the word from the first and second rounds. Take a look at what they are. The word from the first round, that was cake. And then you have tunnel, right? And you've gotta choose your third ingredient. You get to choose it. So here are your choices. I would like a square. A square? Now I'm going to give you one minute to take those ingredients, those three ingredients, and make a story. Think about them. Cake, tunnel, and square. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Please begin. Okay, there was a boy named Tom, and it was his birthday, but nobody really cared for his birthday. So he was riding with his parents and going through the tunnel, and when he reached the house, there was a big surprise. And um, he, there, it had, there had been a really big cake, the biggest cake he ever saw, and then they realized they acted that, that they didn't know Tom's birthday party. But so, and then he got a really big box of a present and inside it was what he wanted. It was a very big toy car. So he thought it was the biggest party yet and he was really thankful to his parents and his friends. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, very good job. Now let's see what the judges think and get their scores. Not bad, not bad, okay. And your grand total. Missed the first one. Second round, 
and 44. Add them up, it's 57.8. Not bad. Not bad. It's time to meet our second contestant. Come on out. Number two is Chun Jung Hun from Aju Elementary School. I want to make a good memory and be uh, in the sixth grade. Uh, so I think I'll need to try my best. Aja. Center of the stage, Jung Hun, feeling all right? Uh, fine. Good. Now my question for you is about your hobbies. What do you like to do in your free time? Uh, I like to read books and sometimes I play soccer and also I uh, like to sleep a lot. Like to sleep a lot. That's why you're so big. Yeah. Okay, well keep up the good work. Now we want to see how creative you are through a few tests. Here is the first hint. I like traveling. I fly in the sky, but I'm not a bird. I can bring people to the world's biggest cities. Airplane? Is that the right answer? Five points. Good job. Yes. Good start. It's a good start. Doesn't mean a lot. Doesn't mean a little. It's something. It's a good direction you're going in. Now, we're going to show you a silhouette now okay. and give you 20 seconds to think about it and then 20 seconds to talk about it. Here is your silhouette. Check it out. You've got 20 seconds to think about it. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, talk about it for 20 seconds. Uh, I think that's a toy cattle. Uh, the back part where it's pointy, I think that's the switch where you turn it around so that you can activate the toy. And the front part it looks like a cattle where the long pointy part sticking out, it looks like the place where you pour water out. So I think it's a toy cattle. Okay, a toy cattle. Very nice. Now we'll see what the judges think about what you said. It's their time to score. 20.1, not bad, not bad, okay. Now, it's very good, an excellent score. You know what you got the first round, second round, very high score. Now it's time for the third one where you gotta really push yourself. What are the ingredients? Let's check again. Airplane, toy kettle, and you have to choose the third one. Let's look at the choices. I choose number uh, nine. Okay, you have your three ingredients. 60 seconds, think about them. Do your cooking now. Seconds left. Three, two, one. Please begin your story. There was a boy named Mark, and he and his family were trying to go to Hawaii, and everybody started packing their uh, luggage. And Mark brought his number one treasure, which was his toy cattle, and rode on an airplane to go to Hawaii. However, Mark soon got sick of being in the airplane too long, so he opened the window to refresh himself, but soon dro uh, accidentally dropped the toy cattle. The toy cattle became out of Mark's reach and soon went on a shore on an island where the sun rose. And that island was so hot that there was no water, but there were somehow people living on that island. And Somebody uh, discovered the toy cattle and accidentally uh, turned the switch. The toy cattle, being in the sea so long, had water inside it and sprayed out all its water. The, island, uh, the people on the island had no more trouble for finding water anymore. Okay, thank you very much for your story. Let's see what the judges and the panel think of it and get their scores. 58.9, not bad, okay. Next and final step, we add them all up. Let's do it. The airplane, 
Victor, you could open the windows, five points. Toy Kettle, 20.1. And your story, as we just saw, 58.9. Add them all up and you get high score, 84 points. Nice. Now we've seen a few participants. Give it a shot. Now we'd like to go to the expert panel and get the opinion on those two participants. How about from Professor Kim Eun Yi? Uh, for contestant number one and two, both of you did a great job uh, in all three rounds. But what I want to see more from you, uh, from both of you, is your confidence. You could, sh uh, you could have shown us more confident voice and attitudes. Uh, but overall, I truly enjoy the whole process. I appreciate your courage and your challenging spirit you have shown us uh, today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Excellent point. It's not just about creativity, but how you, well, show yourself and how you speak, how you portray what you're saying. Okay, excellent job. Let's go to our next participant. Right after that is Cho kyung -ah from Busan Hewa Elementary School. I worked hard for this competition and I'll try my best. I hope it will be a good experience. I'll be the super kid. Hi, what grade are you in? I'm in third grade. Third grade, and you like reading books? Yes. What's your favorite kind of book to read? I like mystery books. Cool, and do you have a favorite book among your many books that you like? Uh, one of the fun books I read is Coraline. Okay, nice book, nice genre, and hopefully you do a nice job. Now your first mission is to hear some hints, three hints related to a word. You ready? Yes, I am. Okay, here's the first hint. I have many wrinkles on me. Some of me have poison, so I can be dangerous to eat. I look like a small umbrella. What's your answer? I'll give you five seconds. Okay. The answer is mushroom. It's okay. Now it's time for your creativity to shine. Okay? Okay. Now I'll show you a silhouette and you can tell us what you think. Here's your silhouette. Now look at it and think about it for 20 seconds. Please tell us about it. It looks like a puffer fish because the long pointy parts look like the parts where you can get stinged and it's round so it looks like a puffer fish. Looks like a puffer fish. Okay, that's what you think. Let's see what the judges think about what you said. Please score. 16.8, all right, good job. Okay, so we have to make a choice. First look at the two ingredients that you were given, and then we're gonna choose one. So we have mushroom from round one, and puffer fish from round two that you, that you saw and created. Now we get to choose one more. Look at the panel and choose the one you want. Number three. Number three. Okay, that's your third one. So add those three up to make your story. And I'll give you one minute to think about it, okay? Okay. Go ahead and start. Think about it. Make a story. I love stories. Puffish sounds exciting. Five, four, three, two, one. Please begin. Once there in Square Island, there was a mushroom who was very lonely. And one day, a pufferfish saw a shark. And since the pufferfish was scared, 
It blew up and burst out from the water and landed right in front of the mushroom. So the mushroom thought it was its friend, so it, the mushroom kicked it around and all of a sudden the pupper fish took the mushroom all the way through space and the mushroom had a great adventure and all of a sudden the mushroom was out of breath so it turned green and met an alien because the alien was a nice alien it gave it medicine and the mushroom became the alien's friend and they lived happily ever after wow that's a novel right there okay Woo. traveling through space that was amazing okay so let's see what the judges think about your amazing story hang on just a second 59.7, all right. So we need to add up all three rounds to get your total now, pyong -ah. Let's look at the board again. Round one, two, and three, what's the total? Round one, you know. Round two, 16.8. And the score you just got, 59.7. Total being 76.5, good job. Let's have our next person come on out. And our fourth contestant is Kwang Min Kyung from Chukchan Elementary School. Because I didn't prepare, I don't expect to be the super kid. But I won't let my parents. I'll try my best and not let my parents down. Aja. I mean, Young. Hello. I want to ask you who you respect. You have any heroes? Any mentors? Uh, I respect my mom and dad. Good choice. <laughs> they're close, so you want to make sure they're happy. All right. Now we want you to be happy and be creative. First is round one. Are you ready? Yes. Connected to a word. Here's the first hint. Listen to all the hints. My body has 12 buttons. I can talk to people I can't see. I am famous thanks to Alexander Graham Bell. Uh, telephone? Is that the right answer for five points? Yes, it is. Good job. All right. Good start. Good start. Now comes the more challenging work. I'll show you a silhouette. You got 20 seconds to think about it, then 20 seconds to talk about it. Here is your silhouette. Go ahead, check it out. Think about it. 20 seconds begins now. Five, four, three, two, one. Please talk about it. I think it's a, a man's face two faces with a hat on its top and it's like there is an old man with a beard and it only got half of his face mixed together. Okay, there you go. Let's see what the judges and the panel think of it and get their scores. 15.5, not bad. All right. Okay, now. This is the time where you take your first answer and your second answer that you created and connect it with the third answer. Let's see what the words are so far. Telephone and two-faced head. Now, for round three, you have to choose one more ingredient among these shapes. Number eight. Number eight. Put them together with the other two ingredients. You've got one minute to do your cooking. Telephone, two-faced head, and that last shape. Thirty seconds left. Five, four, three, two, 
one. Please begin. Once upon a time, there was a twin who, there was a twin brothers who were very old, and they were they had white hair and a white beard. So, but they had they were very friendly to each other, so they lived together. But one day, they used the tele. They were trying to use the telephone, but suddenly the t- telephone zero turned into an exclamation exclamation point. They were so surprised, but they were also curious also. So they pressed the exclamation mark, and then suddenly they were mixed together, and they were now faced. They had two faces. That's a story. Very nice. Okay, judges and panel, please get to work. 38.6. Not bad, not bad. Okay, now what we want to do is look at your grand total. One, two, and three rounds all together and see where you rank. You got telephone, five points. 15.5, and right there, 38.6, your total being 59.1, okay. We had two more participants, so we want to go to the judges again and get an opinion on the last two, especially from Professor Henny Sabunaye. The last two contestants. I think number three was our youngest and also I was so very surprised by her twist of introducing aliens. Personally, I think she had a most confident presentation and the most creative. Number four, I'm sorry to say so, but your story had to be a bit longer. It was so short, but I'm pretty sure in the future you will do much better. Thank you for your great words. And we're going to take a little break now since we went through four participants. Something that really might encourage imagination, creativity, it's magic. Hello Super Kids and welcome to our special creative speech contest. You guys ready? Yes, well before we start, magic is using imagination. What do you think this is? Mustard! You must be hungry. (laughs) Well, actually, this is something you use to cover yourself from the sun. Well, you're not believing me, so let's hold on to this. Uh, Contestant number three, can you help me? Okay, hold on to this, and let's rip this piece of paper like this. Let's tear it up. Let's tear it up. Let's tear the pieces of paper. Very good. Let's keep on tearing. Let's keep on tearing. Keep on tearing and give it that over to me. Thank you. And if you do this right, as I told you, it's something you use if you tear it up the right way. And we can really tear things up the right way. And yes, I think we can do it. And let's give it a crumble. And it might be something that is to use to cover yourself from the sun which is called a hat. It's called a hat. This hat is for you. Perfect, beautiful. Now, now let's do something more. This time I like to do something more with our four contestants. Now, guys, can you help me? Okay, now contestant number two, I want you to stand right over here. And number one, stand right over here. And number four, right over here. Perfect, this is my favorite part. And number three, all you have to do is follow me. We're going to do something called a tissue dance today. And I'm going to hand over you a piece of paper like this one more time. Now hold on to it. Now let's tear, tear the piece of tissue. Now we're going to keep on tearing it up. We're going to roll it all together like this. Let's give it a big roll. Put it in one hand, give it a blow. Like give it a little bit more shake. Now what is this? Uh, a rock. Well, now let's take this. Now we're going to give it a blow one more time. Now watch. I'm going to put this in my mouth. Mm-hmm. 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 
That this is rope. Use your imagination. Now, guys, come over here. Let's have our four contestants right over here. Let's all gather up. And not only for you guys and for our viewers, always have have that imagination in your mind. Always be creative, and I hope for the best for you all four. So let's have some fun. Thank you very much. Amazing magic. Kind of lost my appetite, but we're always grateful when you come here. Magic. Wow. All right, let's meet our next participant. Right behind comes Han Ju Won from Songnam Nejong Elementary School. I will take over this Super Kiss contest. Attack! Hi there, number five. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Great. So, summer still happening. Any special plans for vacation? Uh, in summer vacation, I go to the observatory with my father and see some stars there. Excellent. Well, hopefully you will shine right now. Now, your first mission is vocabulary. We'll give you three hints connected to a word. You've got to give us the answer. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Here's the first hint. Good luck. Listen to all three. When I am born, I'm green. But when I ripen, I become yellow. My skin is very slippery. Monkeys love me. What is it? A banana. Is that right? <laughs> Good job. Monkeys, Isaac, and a lot of kids like that fruit. OK, so now we're going to give you a silhouette. More of a challenge, you'll see it, think about it for 20 seconds, and then talk about it. Here is your silhouette. Think about it, check it out, 20 seconds. Three, two, one. Please tell us about it. I think it's a kind of a fish that had been a new kind of a fish. Its tails have been disappeared and now it lives on the land. It has grown legs. Okay, a fish with legs. Let's see how the judges and panel think about your answer. The score is coming up. 20.5, good job. Now it's time to cook. Let's look at your ingredients so far. You got the first round, the second round, and in the third round, you're gonna have to choose a shape. Banana and new kind of fish. <laughs> now, look amongst these shapes and choose one, please. I'll choose number nine. Number nine. Okay, so you got those three ingredients. Think about it, you got a minute. your story. At the end of the world, almost all of the fish has died, but only one fish survived and then it evoluted into a new kind of fish. They, they did not have their tails and they grew legs. And what they ate? They ate banana. And after it was the end of the world, so the banana was like a moon shape at first, but now the banana is changed into a sun shape. And there, the, kind, the new kind of fish ate the banana, and they had started to have some babies there. 
and now all new kinds of fish had conquered the world, and it's and there was no end of the world because all the fishes had conquered the world, and in the future maybe new kind of the fish is almost everywhere in the world, and no human or animals. All right, thank you very much. Good job. Now we'll work on the score for you, and I'll think about those scary fish. 63.5, that's a high score. Okay. But it's incomplete. We need to get the round one and round two scores and add them all up. Let's do that right now. First round, five. Second round, 20.5. Third round, we just saw 63.5 totaling 89. That's the highest score right now, right? That's impressive. Our third grader, Juwon, is the score, the lady to beat. Let's see how creative our next contestant will get. Meet our next contestant. Number six is Lee Ji Young from Pundang Elementary School. Um, I'm still young, so I have a lot of chances, but I will do my best in my contest, in this contest. I love you, Mom and Dad. I will be the super kid! Hi, Ji Young. Hi. So you want to be a diplomat because? I want to be a diplomat because I want to explain to foreigners about Korean culture and source of pride. Also, I want to communicate with other people, and I want to use my talents for my country's profit. Okay. You speak English in any other languages? Um, I also speak Chinese, but I'm in the basic level of it. Okay, cool. Well, we're going to focus on English and focus on creativity right now. So, first step, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, ready. let's start. Here's the first hint. Listen to all three. I am usually a rectangle. If you want to go in somewhere, you have to go through me. Many people knock on me when they see me. You know what it is? Yes, it's the answer is door. Is that the right answer? It is. Good job. Perfect score. Five. But not so much. Let's get more. Okay, round two, you're going to see a shape. It's a silhouette. Here is your silhouette. 20 seconds begins. Two, one. What do you see? I think it's a clover and a mango. I think it's a clover because it has like three sorts of leaves and then something next to it is, has, is made of like two balls and it looks, it looks just like mango. Okay, let's see what the judges think and check out their scores. 17.9, not bad, not bad. All right, now it's time to add the ingredients and I'll give you an additional choice as well. You had door, right? And what was that kind of a clover, lucky, delicious mango combination there? Now you have other shapes. Please choose one. Number three. Number three. Okay. So you want to add those shapes together. I'll give you a minute to think about it and then a minute to talk about it. Go ahead. The minute begins, put them together. 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Please make a story. A girl who was work, w walking in the street saw a door. Knock, 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 she knocked on the door. Um, she went. She went in and saw a clover. A clover in a black box. What's this clover? The girl thought. And 
wished the clover. I want the mango. But the clover didn't answer. She prayed again and again. Clover, I want a mango. But then, but the clover didn't listen to her. And she was going to go out. But then a man appeared. Here, this is the mango. I, I bring this present for you. And the girl was happy, so she hugged the man and ate the mango. Ate the mango. Okay, there you go. That's a story. Sounds interesting. Let's get the scores. Forty-four point six. Okay. Get the giant calculator. Let's add up all the rounds and figure out where she stands among all the participants. Round one, five points for door. Two, 17.9, three, 44.6. That gives us 67.5. Pretty good score. Two more to go before we go to them. Let's go to the panel again, our judges and Professor Chang Won Jae. In case of number five, she can deliver her story very clearly with full confidence. Her story about a fish with legs reminds me the circle of evolution. Thank you. And number six, it looks to me a good adaptation of fairy tale story Goldie Rocks. However, I can find her originality. Please pull yourself together. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Great words. Now let's go to the panel. We haven't heard from the panel yet. How about a representative from the students there, Kang Ji Young? I was very impressed that some of the contestants were very confident and creative. Um, I think they are really smart and quick thinkers that they were able to come up with brilliant ideas and that they were able to make a full story with um, unrelated keywords in a short time. I think they're really great storytellers. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. It's very true, very true indeed. And the show's not over. We've got two more. Here is our next participant. Contestant number seven is Song Yu Jin from One Myung Elementary School. I'll try my best and I can do it. So even though I don't really get a good grade, I think I will think that this is a step for me to develop my English abilities and my English speaking skills. Aja, super kid, come here. Hi, Eugen. Hi. You have a great smile. Oh, thank you. Good for broadcasting because I heard you want to go into broadcasting. Oh, in the yes. Future. So, uh, who's your who's your role model? Who do you what do you who what kind of show would you like? Um, um, when I grow up and when I become a broadcaster, I really want to have my own talk show like Oprah Winfrey. Nice. Okay. Well, you're on TV right now. Yes. And you have to find a word. We're going to give you three hints. Yes. Listen to all three carefully and we don't want you to miss those possible five points. Here's the first hint. I usually lie down on the floor. Many of me are born in Persia. Aladdin rise me to the sky. Um, I think the answer is carpet. Is that the answer they want? Yes, it is. Five points. Very good. Good start. Good start. Can see you having your own show someday. Okay, so now you're going to get a silhouette and 20 seconds to think about it and 20 seconds to talk about it. You ready, number seven? Yes. All right, here's your silhouette. 20 seconds. One, 
What do you see? Um, I think what I see is a bird, and the sharp part on the top of its head is its beak, and the bird is kind of flying in a upper way because its wings are down and also its tail is down. So I think the silhouette is a bird that is trying to um, use its beak to do something. Okay. Bird flying. What do the judges and panel think? Let's get their scores. Total 22.4. Nice. Very nice. Okay. So, let's take the ingredients. You got the first one right. Nice answer there. And we need to add one more. So, let's look at what you have. Carpet and bird. Now you have a choice. What would you like to add to the mix? Number 12. Number 12. Okay. So one minute you got, think about it, make a story, and then uh, in a minute we'll talk. Carpet bird and that shape of your choice. 30 seconds. Please tell us a story. Um, one sunny day, there was a bird, and the bird had a very beautiful voice. And the bird was singing with all his heart, all her heart, and she was singing a tune. But a, a witch who really wanted to sing nice um, caught the bird with an arrow, and the bird fainted. And the bird went into the witch's house, and the witch tried to take away the bird's tune. However, the magical carpet from Aladdin saw this because it was flying in the air. And the magical carpet went to Aladdin, Genie, and Jasmine. And the carpet told all of the things that um, he saw. And after that, Aladdin and Genie and Jasmine were very um, worried about the bird. So they rode the magic carpet and they secretly go got into the witch's house. And they saved the bird by fainting the witch. So that is why a bird, the parrot is still living with Aladdin, Jasmine, and Genie. I think you have a future with Disney. Now let's see what the judges think and get their scores. 65.1. Wow. It's time to get the grand total and figure out where you place. Five for round one. 22.4 round two and you just got 65.1. What's the total? It is 92.5. Wow. High score, Eugene. High score. It's high enough to get you in first place right now. In second place is Juwon with 89, just under 90 points. And then third place is Tohun, 84. Okay, so congratulations, but it's not over yet. We've got one more person to listen to. Let's hear their story. Last but not least, Lee Ho Jung from Kansan Elementary School. Um, I'll try hard to become the super kids, and I'm going to try hard to make my English level bigger than space. Super kid, you're mine. Hi, number eight. You Hello. are last but not least. Feeling okay? Yes. Thank you for waiting so long. Takes a lot of patience. Creativity is important, but so is patience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So, how are you spending your summer? Well, I am going to spend the summer with my cousins at a swimming pool, I think. And since my mom has six siblings, um, I think if we are going to have a lot of people coming, and I think we're going to have a great time. All right. Now we got to make room in your brain for vocabulary. You're going to hear three hints. Listen to all of them and tell us your answer. Cotton candy looks very similar to me. When the weather is clear, I am white. I float in the sky. Your answer? Cloud. Is that the right answer? Yes, it is. Good job. Too bad the clouds aren't made of cotton candy. Um. Now we go to a silhouette. You look at it, think about it for 20 seconds, and talk about it for 20 seconds. Tell us what you see. Here is the silhouette. 
20 seconds. Think about it. Check it out. Soon you have to tell us what you see. Three, two, one. What do you see? Well, I think it's the hole in the doorknob to lock the door uh, because there is a black outside and a hole to fit in the key, which I think looks very strange. Okay, there you go. It's a keyhole. It's creative. Let's get the scores. 22.4, that's a high score. Good job, good job. All right, ready for the big round? Yes. Got the first one and the second one. And I'll give you a choice for the third one, but we got a kind of a triangle for your creativity. You had the right answer. It was cloud. Then you wrote or created keyhole. Now, among these shapes, please choose one. Twelve. 12. He says quickly. Those are the three. I'll give you a minute. Try to create a story and then tell us a story. We look forward to it. One minute. Thirty seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Once upon a time, there was a cloud, uh, but one day he was floating in the sky. But he, there was some music from under. The cloud wanted to see who was making the music, and he went under. He, first, he went to the village. He kept hearing the music, and he followed the music to find the player. But he couldn't, so he moved on. Later, he, he finally found the house which had the pl music player in it. But the only entrance was the door, which was locked. So the cloud decided to go into the house through the keyhole. He squeezed in and finally saw the music player. He later floated back to the sky. Okay, time's up. Good job. Let's get the numbers from the panel and the judges. 51.1, that's a good score. What's your total score? We need to figure that out. Get out your calculators. Round one, two, and three. Here are the numbers. Round one, you got the right answer, five. Second round, 22.4. Third round, 51.1. The total is 78.5. It looks like our seventh participant the lady who talked about Aladdin, the carpet, and rescuing someone who's trying to steal the beautiful music. Number seven, she's the winner. Congratulations. <laughs> Amazing job, but let's get an overview from Professor Lee Sung Jo. I have been very pleased to watch how well our students could create uh, interesting stories while speaking English. It is not an easy thing to do. In my opinion, uh, the contestants have uh, achieved a very high level of proficiency. This contest provided you uh, a great experience for that. I hope you all enjoy being creative at all times. I'm really impressed you guys are super creative. Doesn't matter what your place is, definitely standing on stage here is a huge accomplishment. 
and uh, let's talk with the first and second place winners. So, how do you feel? Um, I feel very happy because even though I didn't prepare for the speech contest, I think I used my creativity well. And I, I also thank my mother because she was the one who asked me to enter this contest. And I also thank my parents and my friends because they encouraged me to do well. So mom's getting the prize? Yeah. Very good, very good. And second place, how are you feeling? Uh, I wasn't sure that I would be on this stage. And, and I did, so I'm a bit surprised with myself. And I've never expected this to happen. And I'm also pleased to in the second place. You're a third grader, right? Yes. Lots of potential here. Lots of potential on the stage. You guys had a good time? Yes. Uh, did you guys have a good time? Yes. yes. Okay. Still recovering from all that creativity. Well, if that's the case, then let's say see you later until next week. Guys, we gotta go. Hopefully you had a good time too. Bye bye. The first place winner brings home a laptop computer. Second place, a Nintendo Wii. Third place, MP3 players. Super Kids is sponsored by Avalon English, your English cornerstone. Thank you.